in a bid to enhance passenger experience and make travel time even more fascinating at SGR's Madaraka Express, Kenya Railways has launched a publication. The Safarini magazine will be distributed for free to all passengers using the SGR to various destinations covered by the train services. The idea behind the magazine that will be produced quarterly, according to Kenya Railways Director Helen Wamuiga, was born out of the need to also promote the country's reading culture. It's going to be free, it's not for sale. <laughs> we expect 6,000 people to be receiving this magazine daily. Remember that Kenya Railways is having uh, four, four, four trips per day. So we have two trips uh, from Mombasa, two trips from Nairobi, and we're talking about having actually 1,500 from the insurance. But even more pressing is the realization that such publication is significant in marketing the country as a tourist destination. It is an in-train magazine that will be found inside the train, which will be free of charge to families, to businessmen, to anybody who is traveling back and forth from Mombasa to Nairobi, Nairobi to Mombasa. Basically everything that... Um, uh, revolves around tourism. Vila watu wako kutoka Mombasa mpaka Nairobi ama hapo katikati mkiwa hapo kwa train. Munaona vitu mingi na munaweza ona information mingi sana na munaweza uh, make decision na mkiwa kwa train. And amid this lounge, a section of transporters in the coastal city of Mombasa have distanced themselves from the ongoing weekly protest against standard gauge railway services. The transporters claim that the demonstrations are sponsored by civil society activists and imposter transporters. We know as per our investigation that activists are after money and we, are, as, as, uh, we, 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 are, we know that they are already paid. Let them eat their money elsewhere but not come forward to spoil our names as transporters. <laughs> This even as a section of Member of Parliament defended the Ministry of Transport against accusation of misappropriation of public funds and transport business monopoly from Mombasa to Nairobi via the SGR. National Assembly Transport Committee Chair David Kosing says the government's development record, especially on road construction across the country, is evident and it is hypocritical of anyone to say otherwise. This road from, from Kitale to Lodwa, before Uru Kenyatta took power, it was no road, it was nothing. Now people can travel safely from Kitale to Eldoret, from Kapenguria to, to, to Iten, through Leland, it, there was no road. Now there is a tarmac road. For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Buddy.